Hello, I'm Jonathan Garside from the Hypnosis Clinic. One of the subjects I talk to people about all the time is weight reduction. There's no doubt that maintaining a healthy weight through regular exercise and a calorie controlled diet is the best way to live a long, happy and healthy life. Yet too often it's difficult to do because the associations we make with food are often distorted and we can lose a proper perspective of what food is really there for. Food gives us energy for activity, growth and all the functions of the body such as breathing, digesting food and keeping warm. Materials for the growth of and repair of the body and for keeping the immune system healthy. Food is not there to satisfy our emotional needs and requirements. Of course, it's good to enjoy eating and food can taste great, but not to the extent that we rely on the sensation of eating to make us feel happy and satisfied. If we find ourselves eating for our emotional needs and requirements, we're most likely to make the wrong choices, based not on what our bodies actually physically need, but for our emotional requirements. Sweet food may be when life is sour, spicy food when life is boring, Food can provide the missing link to our emotional needs. The sense of being full is like having fulfillment in life. A full tummy makes us feel safe in the same way that a full lung of fresh air does. Food gives us a reward for our endeavours, a treat after hard work, even a substitute for the feelings of love and appreciation that may be missing from our lives. And the more the weight increases, the more stressed we become and the more the need for that emotional comforting that food can give in a crisis. So, what's the alternative? It's to change your attitude to eating, to see food for what it really is, something to satisfy our physical needs. And that's something hypnosis can really help with. I've been working with hypnosis for over 26 years to help people to reduce and maintain a healthy weight. We deal with the underlying causes as to why someone feels the need to eat when they're not hungry, to help someone make the right decisions about when and why to eat, to have the willpower, determination and passion for regular exercise, to enjoy that wonderful feeling of seeing weight reduce and self-esteem and self-confidence increase. Having the right attitude towards reducing weight is all in the mind, You'll notice that nowhere in this video or blog or website do I talk about losing weight. Why? Well, because we associate with the word lose things we would really rather keep. You lose your car keys. You lose your place in the queue. You lose your wallet or your phone. People even lose their lives. We don't talk about losing a cold or the flu. No, it's something we don't want in our life. As long as you keep trying to lose weight, at some subconscious level, you're telling your body to keep it. And no one wants to be a loser. So, even if you take nothing more from this video, start telling yourself that you are reducing your weight, not losing it. You'll be surprised at the difference it makes. Understanding how your mind works will give you the power to make good, healthy decisions and to make the right choices that will keep you fit and healthy for a lifetime. To find out more about the work I do helping people to reduce their weight, make an appointment for a free consultation. You can either come and meet me here at our clinic in London's Regent Street or via a telehealth video call. I look forward to seeing you soon.